first alert weather. Well, this is what it looks like in Burlington tonight. Pretty wet evening as you see all the uh, the roads kind of glistening there a little bit uh, in the street lights. Pretty good look here across the city of Burlington from the University of Vermont to Hayes Cam. Uh, right now temperatures across the region today really depended where you are as to what you saw for highs. We saw 52. That was it with a lot of clouds and rain in northern New York. Notice Rutland though 73 degrees. There were some folks that saw some breaks of sunshine throughout the day today, especially as you went further east did see it in the Champlain Valley as well. Temperatures outside right now 49 in Plattsburgh. It is 50 in Burlington and Montpelier. Still a little uh, warmer in the Upper Valley 62 right now in Lebanon 61 degrees in Springfield. Here is Storm Tracker. We've seen the rain around tonight and again right now most of it across northern New York parts of St. Lawrence and oh, uh, western Franklin County right now and then a lot of rain back towards uh, parts of New Hampshire and Maine in between Champlain Valley of New York and Vermont into the Upper Valley uh, Northeast Kingdom kind of quiet. We've seen some light rain showers and drizzle around this evening. We've got more though on the way as we head through the weekend. This all associated with a low pressure system that's going to wind up and move up through Maine and notice the uh, white here on the map. That's a little bit of snow and yes, as colder air moves on in here, we'll be looking at some snowflakes across the mountaintop Saturday night and Sunday. How much rain have we seen here? This is since midnight, so about 24 hours or so. Uh, about an inch and a half in Messina, an inch in Saranac Lake, a little less in Burlington, an inch in Rutland. Heard from a viewer in Springfield who said, actually, I've seen about a little over an inch of rain in my backyard. So this on top of what we saw Thursday, it's been a wet couple of days around here. Showers around tonight, low temperature down to 47 degrees with north winds at about 10 miles per hour. Here's the setup for the weekend. Mention that low pressure moving up towards Maine. And as that begins to kind of crank on up here, we're going to see the winds come down behind this, bring in some colder air. And that's going to change that rain over to snow showers as we head through the weekend. Here's what we're talking about with future cast. Notice the rain showers tonight as we take you through the day on Saturday. Rain showers around, but by the afternoon here, notice across northern New York starting to see the snow move on in in the Adirondacks. It's now Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock into Saturday night. That moves into the Green Mountains as well. Notice still mainly rain or a little bit of a mix into the Champlain Valley. And then that all begins to move out as we get into the day on Sunday. Some snow showers early on, but notice the clearing here behind it. We may even see some breaks of sunshine before the weekend is finished. How much snow are we talking about? Three to six inches at the highest elevations of the Green Mountains and the Adirondacks. Lesser amounts as you come down from there. How much rain are we talking about if you don't see the snow? Well, could see over an inch of rain, two inches in some spots this through Sunday before that storm system moves on out. So your forecast is we take you through the day tomorrow, rain around those winds increasing as well. As a matter of fact, we'll see some pretty good winds on Saturday night and Sunday. That's probably it for the fall foliage season. Those trees going to take a beating Saturday night, Sunday, Sunday's high 47, Monday 47 will remain unsettled for Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, we begin to clear out a little bit. Temperatures remain in the 40s for most of next week.